Hey, Conversation Girls. I'm super excited to share with you today um, my full and complete review on the uh, Heritage Hydration products that I did the first impressions on. So I'm really excited because, you know, you ever find a product and you feel like, man, I kind of really hit the jackpot on this one and how come I didn't know about this sooner and you know, that whole feel, you know, you're really excited about the product in the company. That's how I feel today. That's how excited I am loving these products. Let me just tell you that up front. Let's talk uh, in detail about them. Again, we'll run through all three products and then I'll break them down. Um, this was the, I got the Tutti Frutti um, Honey Butter. And I got the Castor Infusion and the Cocoa Aloe Hair Hydrator. Okay, and that came in this container. I will start off with the Tutti Frutti Honey Butter, okay? Uh, in the last video, I talked about, um, or I described, I, re I read what it's described here as, which is a leave-in. Um, it says the moisturizing benefits of shea butter and avocado butter help to lock in moisture and prevent uh, breakage and damage. Use after shampooing or condi and conditioning. Um, use it as a leave-in or to re-moisturize your hair. Okay, so we talked about some of the product, I mean the uh, ingredients in here, which is purified water, raw yellow shea butter, um, cideral alcohol, and some other thing that I cannot pronounce. Some of her ingredients are cut off. There's a chloride in here that's cut off. Um, avocado butter, BTMS 50, uh, Pro Vitamin B5, Honey, Dermal Plus, and then fragrance. So it's, um, this is a four ounce container, okay? This is, this was $12. Um, I like this product. I've, as you can see, I'll show you the inside of it. There is not much on the, there, I haven't used a lot, basically. I, there's still quite a bit inside of this. I will finish it. I will use it all. Um, I'll show you, look at the consistency. I kind of showed you guys this in the last video, but it's a very loose, um, water-based consistency. There's no tack to this product whatsoever. Does not leave your hair tacky. Um, there's no residue. Do, your hair does not feel weighed down. Um, this stuff is really nice. It's really light. The smell definitely smells a little fruity. The Tutti Frutti is, is definitely, you know, um, it, it, it makes sense and it, it's accurate. Um, it's described as a, it says Tutti Frutti Honey Butter. So the reason I purchased this is because I'm in the market for butters. And so I thought, oh yes, this is what I'm looking for. And so I ordered two butters. Well, this is actually a leave-in. Um, not necessarily, I, I mean, I couldn't use this as a butter. They, this would not seal anything for me. Um, I couldn't use this to really style my hair. It's For me, this would strictly be more of a moisturizer than a leave-in for my hair, my thick, curly, coily hair. This would be more of a re-moisturizer because, um, you, you know, if you want something super light, you don't want something, you don't want to put anything heavy on your hair, you just need to refresh, this would be it for me. Um, I use this in Madison and Bailey's hair too. Um, it was good. It was better for Bailey's hair than it was for Madison because Bailey has a thinner, um, or not thinner, that's not the right word. It's a finer texture of hair. Um, if you um, you guys, most of you know her, uh, she, she just has a really soft texture of hair. That's the best way to describe it. Um, her coils, she has coily hair. I mean, as far as curls are concerned, she's got curls more on the lines of like this one here. Can you see that? Uh, barely. Like that, you know? Um, so they're, her curls are um, spirally, but they're, they're larger than Madison's. Madison's spirals are tight, very, very tight coils, okay? So are spirals. Um, so this did well for her because of the texture of her hair. For Madison, Maddie's hair <laughs> drank it up, was looking for more. So um, on Madison, I use this as a leave-in 
Um, and for Bailey, I used it as a leave-in as well, but I also I had to basically add a moisturizer to Madison's. It was not enough to just moisturize, seal, and be done, or leave-in, seal, and done, which is usually what I do. Um, it just wasn't enough for Maddie. But for Bailey, it was adequate. I could leave it in, uh, seal it with the butter, and be done for her. Okay, so um, overall, for the Tutti Frutti Honey Butter, would I purchase this again? No. It's not for us. Um, I think if you have, if you, if you're the kind of girl that wears a lot of protective styles and you use the butters to seal and you're just looking for something super light, I would say try it. Uh, I think you would, I don't, I don't think you would be disappointed. It smells really nice. It's not the best smelling product in the world, but it smells really nice. Her ingredients are awesome and it's super, super light. So, um, for the wash and go girls, uh, not really sure. This would be a really good product because it's not enough moisture. Um, twist outs, protective styles, um, sealing with butters or oils, this could work. Okay, so that's my thoughts on the Tutti Frutti Honey Butter. Next, I want to talk about the Ca uh, Cocoa Aloe Hair Hydrator. This in the video previous to this, I described um, or I read um, the description. It's a moisturizer and you can also use it to refresh your hair. Um, and it can also be used as a leave-in. It is water-based. It has aloe vera gel, olive butter, coconut oil, olive oil, e-wax, um, satiric acid, vitamin e, vitamin e oil, rosemary extract, liquid silk, preservatives, fragrance, and vegetable glycerin. Glycerin is the very last ingredient. I flip and love that because my hair is slightly glycerin sensitive. You either have to do you have to load it up with glycerin so that there's no additional moisture that can be brought in or it has to be super small on the ingredient list. Otherwise, my hair will poof up and look like a crazy person. So, and not the cute poof. I mean like, you know, like monstrous poof. So, um, <laughs> um, I really, 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 I don't think I can say really enough. This is the bomb.com. Yes, it is. First of all, I use this, um, like I said, with the Tutti Frutti Honey Butter, um, the, I use this as a moisturizer after the Tutti Frutti. Then I sealed with the Coco Castor, um, with the, what is this, in Castor Infusion. This is awesome. It is awesome. I don't feel the need for the Tutti Frutti if you have, if you, um, using this. The Cocoa Aloe Hair Hydrator is enough. I really feel like you can, this is double duty. Um, Leave-in, moisturizer, this is it. I mean, you can use your oil to seal, you can use a butter to seal. You don't need anything else. Twist outs, um, let's see, uh, wash and goes. I used this on my wash and go. My wash and go was so awesome. It was awesome. Um, let me think. Uh, oh, you know what made me really, 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 really fall in love with this? I noticed that Madison and Bailey just had this like ridiculous shine in their hair. And I was like, hey, it had been like four days since I had washed and twisted their hair. And usually shine doesn't last that long in any of our hair, you know? So I said, hey, can, come here. And I touched her hair and... It wasn't greasy. There was no film, no residue on my hand, but there was just like this shine that was out of control. I mean, it was just shine. It wasn't like soul glow shine. It was like a beautiful, healthy glow. It was really, really pretty. And I said, man, that's, that's that product. That's that heritage hydration. So um, this right here, I will continue to buy. And I'll show you the consistency on this. It is um, nice and thick. It's not like overly thick though, as you can see, like there's no residue that will be left on your, um, hair. Your hair is going to feel moisturized. It's going to feel fluffy. Um, it's going to smell amazing because this smells y'all just so good. It really does. It smells like awesomeness. Um, so you're not going to be like, you're not going to have to re-moisturize. I didn't have to re-moisturize my hair until it was time to wash it. 
I didn't have to re-moisturize Bailey and Madison's hair until it was time to wash it. We wash our hair once a week. Um, so I, on wash day, hair was still moisturized. This is an eight ounce, I'm assuming. There, it's, it doesn't tell you on here, as you can see. Like, that's what it looks like. There's no reading, an ounce size. But this looks like an eight ounce bottle to me. And um, it's $14. Uh, so it, to me, it's worth $14. It's fantastic. And we have been using it for three weeks straight. This is like every time I do their hair and my hair, I'm reaching for this. And it is right here. So that's how much we've used. And this thing was filled to the brim. Okay, next is the next and last is the castor infusion. This is a pot. This says this powerful shea butter made with castor oil and nettle her and nettle herbs help to um, help with hair growth. It says you can use as a growth aid and massage on your scalp or um, as a mask or sealant. Okay. I cannot imagine using this as a hair mask because it is too valuable. Um, most of the time when you're using something as a hair mask, you're using it as like a deep conditioner. It would be amazing, but it would almost be a waste of product because it's super duper thick. I mean, super thick. Now, if you like butter thick mask, go for it. But I don't, mm -mm, I don't think you need to do that with this. I mean, I wouldn't use it that way. That's what I should say. <sighs> Guys. Yes. The smell on this is stupid good. This scent lasts for days, like the whole week. You put it in the hair. I have it in my hair today. It's, I used it to seal and it's just, it's just there. I mean, it's, it lasts. I mean, I like, I love the way it lingers. It's not an overwhelming lingering smell though. It's not going to give you a headache or get on your nerves or, but if you move your, if you're wearing a wash and go and you move your hair or twist out, boom, it's going to hit you. You're going to get that nice whiff of lemon or lime, whatever that is she has in here. It's a real tropical lemony, limey, lemony, limey, citrusy smell. It's the bomb. On top of that, the consistency, like look at the texture, the consistency, consistency, it's super thick. Okay, but I'm not like digging my fingers in here to get the product out. I'm literally just gliding my fingers along and it just comes right out. And this much is all I used on each of my, uh, each of my twists to seal. And that was too much. I seal, I always seal from uh, roots to tip, from to ends, uh, just because I love the way it feels. Um, this product is a staple for me now. Yes, it is. If I don't ever purchase anything else from her, I'm going to always purchase this right here. It, one thing I absolutely love about this, as thick as it is, as soon as it hits my hair, like I'm going to show you, I'll take this piece here. As soon as it hits my hair and if this is dry now, it melts into my hair. There's no residue. I don't have to rub it in 50 million times to get it to emulsify. It just dissolves. I love that. I love that. I don't have to work, like keep going over the girl's hair. And I mean, I put it in and it's like the hair just drinks it in. I twist it up. It's done. When I take it out, I can still feel the moisture on their hair. Their hair is soft and fluffy. Maddie's twist out was ridiculous. Um, six days, I, I, I wore a wash, wash and go and um, sealed with this. And I didn't have to re-moisturize ent that entire six days. I could have, but I didn't have to. My hair didn't need it. It was happy. So, um, guys, I really like Heritage Hydration. I want to try a few more things from her line. So, anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys... Uh, enjoy the review and I hope you guys will give these products a try. Definitely the castor infusion and definitely the uh, ca uh, cocoa aloe hydrator. I got all three of these products for $34 with the shipping included. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.